With the centre differential built and ready to go, we're ready for bag B in our Techno ET48 2.0 build, and we're sticking with differentials in this bag, both front and rear. We're sticking with differentials in bag B, and although the bag seems larger than bag A, that's because there are two differentials to build here, both front and rear. We won't cover this bag in as much depth, as it's the exact same process as the centre differentials from the previous video, the only difference being the ring gear that seals the differential cup rather than a spur gear. So cracking on, let's grease the recess within the cup, and the outdrive groove, before inserting the bearing, and the outdrive into the cup. On with the greased o-ring, the shim, and the outdrive pin with some needle nose pliers to help. A couple of drops of oil to cover the bottom comes next, after which we drop in the first gear, making sure it's seated on the pin by giving the outdrive a little turn. Fill with some more oil, just enough to partially cover the bottom gear, before inserting the first gear set, and followed by the second gear set, and then checking that the gears are all meshed nicely, and topping up with more oil, one millimetre below the top of the cup, before popping the final gear on top. That done, we now grease the recess in the differential ring gear, and the groove on the top outdrive, before inserting the bearing, pushing the outdrive through the ring gear, and holding it in place with the greased o-ring, a shim, and finally the outdrive pin. With the centre gasket greased on both sides, place on the ring gear, taking care to line up the holes, and carefully secure to the prepared differential cup, giving the outdrive a slight turn to ensure the pin is meshed with the top gear. Before tightening down all four screws, corner to corner, being careful not to over tighten too much. And that's the front differential done, turning nice and freely, and ready to place alongside the spur gear for later use. We have one more differential to build, which will be the rear. The build process is exactly the same, so no need to cover it yet again, although this time ensure the differential is filled using the 10,000 weight default and not the 20,000. That's literally the only difference between the front and rear differentials. And that's bag B complete, and all three differentials ready and built. I'd recommend marking which differential has the 10,000 weight oil, as there is nothing else to distinguish the front from the rear, and you really do not want to get these mixed up. I'm very happy with the quality of these differentials so far, and the build manual is nice and straightforward too, so let's keep going and I'll see you in the next video along with bag C, the front gearbox.